People advocating for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender rights have long been focusing their fight on not just Jamaica, but the rest of the Caribbean as well. As of now, same-sex marriage is legal in a handful of the 28 island nations there, five to be exact. On the other hand, same-sex activity is outlawed in nine of the island nations, roughly one out of every three in the Caribbean. And as John noted, some of those places, including Jamaica, limit anti-homosexual -hom laws to just men. Most nations in the Caribbean do not have a law prohibiting discrimination against people based on sexual orientation or gender. 20 of the 28 do not explicitly outlaw that type of discrimination. Now, one man at the center of the battle for expanded gay rights in the region is Maurice Tomlinson. He's a lawyer and is currently part of several court cases, including the one that John mentioned just a moment ago. And Maurice, first off, tell me how you became involved in these type of cases. Well, I started out as a commercial lawyer and I decided to volunteer with the main HIV and AIDS organization on the island, Jamaica AIDS Support for Life. The problem was that they needed someone to help the LGBT understand their rights and no other lawyer would take on the issue because it would be considered professional suicide to be seen to be working with gays. So I did some reading and I basically tried to do a few sessions with these um, mostly men, MSM, and I was just horrified hearing the stories that they were experiencing, the abuse, the murders, the, um, the home, em home ev um, evictions, etc. And I got motivated to start writing the newspapers about these things, and that led to an avalanche of hate against me, and it began to consume my life. So I eventually left my corporate practice, and now I just do human rights work all the time. And Maurice, you mentioned just some of the examples of violent attacks uh, that have been reported on. Do you think police are doing enough in Jamaica to stop these kind of attacks? Oh, absolutely not. Um, just to give you an example, last week, Tuesday, uh, the 15th, I believe, some police attacked a group of homeless MSM, men who have sex with men, who are basically now living in sewers because they've been kicked out of every home they have and the police burnt all their belongings. So not only were these guys already homeless, but the police took away what little possessions they had. And uh, we've seen this kind of uh, arbitrary action by police. When they do go and report attacks, gays, you know, brave enough to report attacks, the police basically say they cannot do anything until they have the names and addresses of their attackers. That was my situation. When I reported the death threats I had gotten, the police basically told me they hate gays and I have to tell them who was doing the attacks or, or sending the threats. It's just horrific. Well, Maurice, I do want to ask you, you know, the United Nations released its first report on the human rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people in 2011. What is it about the Caribbean specifically uh, that this happens? Because, you know, it happens all over the world. but. What is it about the Caribbean that makes it unique? What has happened is that when the North American evangelicals, fundamentalists, lost the battle against gay rights in the States, they came down to the Caribbean, and in particular Jamaica, and to try and ensure that we didn't go the way of the United States. So the religious fundamentalists whipped up a lot of hate, the, um, you know, the televangelists preached a lot of anti-gay sermons which our local pastors started parroting and then they also funded a lot of this anti-gay work. This led to a situation where every weekend Jamaicans were exposed to some of the most vitriolic anti-gay material. And Jamaicans are a very religious society. We all grew up going to church. The result after that was that many of the persons who were in the congregation um, you know, acted on what they heard. Some of them were musicians and they produced homophobic songs. We have in Jamaica over 200 plus anti-gay songs which call Maurice. for death of gays, murder, etc. Maurice, uh, we are out of time. We appreciate you joining us on the show. We'll talk to you next time.